All right, guys. So I'm going to go back through and show you guys question number three. All right. So here, let me zoom up on that so you can see. All right. So, so remember on these, always start with the opposite side of the arrow. All right. So meaning that it's going to go to the right one. Okay. So remember that with basic conventions, that when I go up or to the right those are all positive right but when I go down and to the left those are negative okay so as I go here right so it's gonna come over one so the right is positive okay, and then I'm gonna come up one two three four so those are positive and that one's positive. Okay, so now on this one, so part B, right? So now I'm going to come down one, two, so that's going to be a negative two. And then to the right, one, two, three, four. So that's going to be to the right, positive four. Okay, so then C, right? So we start from the rear, so the opposite side of the arrow. Right, so we're going to go over one, two, three, so positive three, and then we're going to come up positive one. Okay, so now when I put all that into my table, right, so for part A, right, so for part A, it's going to come up going east to west, right, so it's going to be plus one and then it's going to go up four spaces. So remember this north to south is up and down, east to west is side to side. Okay, so then I'm going to come here, so then part B, I'm going over to the right, All right, as I started here at the end, I'm going to come down two, so that's negative two, and then I'm going to go over to the right four, so that's going to give me positive 4. Right? And then for part C, it's going to the right, 3 spaces. Because remember, you always start opposite the arrow, so 3. And then you come up 1. Right? So I kind of had a little... Right? Then you're just going to add up all the spaces. Right? So 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. Right? So 4 plus 1 is 5, minus 2 is 3. Okay, so then you're going to come over here. You're going to draw that. Now, what I've done is I've tried to show you that what we're going to look at here, so tomorrow when we're in class, right, so the arrow is coming up and to the right. Okay, so that's northeast. Okay, so remember our magnitude is the, uh, the sides squared will equal, equal the hypotenuse squared. Right, so 8 squared plus 3 squared, and then you hit equals. Okay, so when you do it on your calculator. Now, you can also do this on Desmos as well. 8 squared plus 3 squared equals. So that's about 73, and then you're going to take the square root of that one. So I rounded it to the tenths place. Right, so 8.5, member 4, stays the same. So that I just rounded off to 8.5. I just put on their units. Okay, and so now remember that Sokotoa, kind of what I showed you guys in class today. So tangent of this angle here, tangent theta, is going to be equal to 3, right, the opposite side or the adjacent side. So, so I'm going to put on here that this is going to be about, right, so if I put 3 divided by 8 equals, that gives me some number, and then I hit second tangent. So that's about 20.6, 20 20 right, so 20.6, or if you round it to the nearest, um, nearest uh, degrees, that's about 21 degrees. Now, what we're going to talk about tomorrow is on a 360 degree angle. 
where it's going straight up, that's zero degrees. Okay, so now if I know this is all 90 degrees, so I'm going to take that it's going to the right, 69 degrees, right? So if I take 21 minus 90, that gives me 69 degrees, and we're going north, right? So up and to the side, northeast, right? So that's what we're going to cover tomorrow in class. So um, that's a little bit of a preview of what we're going to be doing tomorrow, right? So hope to see you soon.